Greetings, loved ones. Let's take a chance. It's time for Amanda, Amanda Exclusivo. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Amanda Exclusivo. Joining me is one of my favorite guests I've ever had on my channel and just oh, one of my favorite bachelors ever is Ben Higgins. Goodness Hi, gracious. Ben. One of your favorite bachelors ever. Who else competes for that title? No one. It's really just you. You would say that, right? <laughs> what now. if I have some other bachelors coming on? I got to well, be fair. You there, would but... say that. Mm -hmm. But you That's know sweet. where you stand, Ben. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> well, how are you doing, Ben? What's what's new in your world since when we talked last time? Oh my goodness. Um, well, I'm doing really really well. I explained it yesterday to somebody that I'm very happily content. I'm telling myself that because I've also been traveling for the last. Uh, well, really since the start of the year, I think I have four weeks away from home already and it's this February 16th. So where have you been? Oh my goodness. I've been to Indiana. I've been to uh, Florida. I've been to um, California. I've been to Honduras. I've been to Ohio. Oh. I've been to two different parts of California. Um I've been everywhere, it feels like. So travel's slowing down now. At least I'm trying to make it slow down, uh, which makes me happy. Uh, and then I'm content with not traveling. And so I'm happily content. Uh, but yeah, those are the big updates in life. I've been bouncing around doing stuff for for Generous uh, in Honduras and Humane Hope in, in Honduras. And then with iHeart, I was out in California for a while, played in a golf tournament in Florida. I was going to say, how was the golf game? Uh, the golf game is pretty good. I have another big one coming up in April in oh. Dallas. And so if you have anybody listening in Dallas, I would love to see you there. But uh, I, I feel pretty good about the game. I have some things I need to tweak and work on, but I uh, I have good feelings about April. And I hope that the golf game goes very well for you. you. Maybe Thank I might you. have to take a trip down to Dallas. Or it's, a, it's a big deal for me if I'm playing well at golf. I'm a happier man. That's good. My golf game probably isn't as strong as yours. <laughs> Could be. You never know. I don't know, but we are here to talk all things Bachelor because, you know, it's the Bachelor season. Yep. And obviously, I love talking about it and talking about it with my favorite former Bachelor. Let's so, talk all about it. Yeah, let's let's dive right in. So what are your predictions for Zach's season? Oh, I think there's no question in my mind right now that Kat will be the one at the end. I do have a prediction. Wow. There's a little teaser that was put out at the very beginning that showed somebody leaving or him sending somebody home and wanting them to come back, like asking them to come back. I think it's her. Uh, I think he is he falls hard for her. I think she leaves on her own. I don't know why or for what reason. But then he really asks her to come back. She does come back. Um, and uh, I have a feeling they're together in the end. I have no clue if this is true or not. This is my theory. I, it's weird because this season for me, like, I feel like it's very hard to tell because he likes so many different kinds of women, you know? He does. He also doesn't like so many different types of That's women. That's true. Like What's good about him very is home very home. quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he knows. He, he knows. And he he's just quick to get people kind of gone that he's not feeling it with. And there's a good and bad side of that, right? Like relationships can grow through the show over time and you can learn something about somebody and um, so, you know, some time is always helpful, but if you're really set that positive, it, I mean, he's doing a great job of just saying, Hey, sorry, it's not working out at the same time though. He does know what he wants, which is great, you know, but at the same yeah. time doing what he has to do, which is send those girls home just to yeah, get to the one. That's right. So, well, you have to send people home to get to the one. And so far he's doing a good job at that. I think he is too. We're already on week five coming up and they're mm -hmm. the girls are just you know it's getting smaller it's crazy yeah yeah well, well i think it was down i think it's what down to 13 maybe 13 or 14 yeah. you know, mm -hmm. half, half of the field has been cut and we're not and we're just about halfway done with the season yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's crazy but okay so you know how i always like to play games with you so and obviously we're talking about the bachelor so we want to make it a little different so okay. I came up with some superlative categories for okay. the girls and we could give them out to whoever we think fits best. So let me pull up their we'll names to make sure I'm getting the names right. There. <laughs> we'll call it um, bachelor superlatives. Let's do it. Yeah. Let me know when you have the list. Okay. I'm ready. All right. So out of all the girls, who do we give best personality to? 
Uh, so far for me, um, I'm going to go Brooklyn. All right. How about most likely to be late for a date? <laughs> That's very interesting. It's hard to do on this show. I know, but, uh, but Anastasia. <laughs> Anastasia. Best hair. Oh, gosh. Um, I have to do Brianna. Yeah, wow. How about or, the best? Yeah. Or who? Uh, yeah, Brianna. She wins. Final answer? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How about the best entertainer? Oh, best entertainer. I mean, probably Anastasia again. She's entertaining. Anastasia is winning a lot of these. How about most athletic? Uh, Even though she got hurt, Genevieve. <laughs> it felt so bad. Mm, brutal. Most likely to be asleep before 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go uh, Bailey. Okay. <laughs> she went home, but uh, I just have a feeling that she's not a partier. She's not a party person. Most likely to dance in a Beyonce video. Let me think about this one for one second. Take your time. Uh, Cat. Yeah, Cat. Yeah, Cat or um, shoot, I forgot her name already. And she was such a fan. Oh, Christina. I mean, I think Christina was already in a music video, so that would that would make sense. She was. She was in a Taylor Swift music video. Yeah, so that one would make sense. So I guess she's already one step ahead. Yeah. <laughs> How about the worst at keeping secrets? Um, you know, I th I feel like what we're gonna see is Greer. Um, I think Greer is very sweet, but I think she's gonna start feeling left behind, and so she's gonna start talking. However, um, Brianna might also get that uh, because I think she went home. Um, but who was the one? Who Anastasia, who got, uh, was it Kylie or something that told on Anastasia? Oh, God. What was her? Yeah, it was Kylie. I think so. Yeah, so it might be Kylie. I'm going to choose Kylie. All right. Yeah, Kylie. We'll go with that. How about most likely to rat out another bachelorette? Um, <laughs> I'm always curious what you think, Ben. Christina. Yeah, I would agree with that one, too. How about most likely to not get time with Zach during the cocktail party? Greer. I think Greer's been reserved since getting the first rose. Yeah, no, she's been she's been getting upset that she hasn't gotten the one-on-one -on -one date, but maybe she will this yeah. only week. We don't know. And finally, who is most loved by Bachelor Nation? Oh, right now. I mean, I mean, Brianna was was it. She was voted in because of Bachelor Nation. But with her being gone, I'm going to have to go with Cat with K because I think people fell in love with her. And Brooklyn. I think Brooklyn also. Yeah. No, I like Brooklyn, too. It's just hard to tell who he's going to pick this season. But I'm going to go with what you said. I mean, you're probably right. <laughs> Let's keep go it. That. Yeah. That we can agree. Like you like the season overall. You think it's probably a more relaxed season compared to other seasons where it's been pretty dramatic <laughs> yeah yeah I mean overall I will say you know there was just a lot of confusion for me be when they picked Zach not that I don't think Zach's a good dude not that I don't think he's very likable I just think there were some people out there that I was like yeah they're gonna be the next bachelor like this like they had a group of three or four dudes that were like well followed single mm -hmm. uh they probably maybe did well in paradise or if they didn't go yeah. to paradise they're still and so I was surprised when they picked Zach because it felt like it didn't make sense to me. I remember uh, last time we talked, you thought it was going to be Avon. Yeah, yeah. And so um, I like this season because I do think it feels more like an older season where love and the character development and the characters and the cast and Zach are more the focus than like having two episodes built on awkward, weird un like drama that never made sense. I know. So I do like that part. Um uh, you know, nobody's watching it right now, though. And that's frustrating because I feel like if people watched it, they would remind them of past seasons. and They might start tuning in again. And so maybe if we can start like slowly turning the show back into what it was, then people will start hearing about it, start watching it again, and we'll get back to the momentum we had before. But I am very happy that 
that love and the stories are the focus and that drama is just like a, a very C level player within. Yeah, I have to agree. No, it definitely takes me back to like Sean Lowe's season as well. You know, I mean, that's probably why they had him at the premiere too. He probably looks up to Sean, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah and I think so, it does. Yeah, it's mostly about the romance, the love rather than shower scenes. Too many shower scenes. <laughs> a lot of shower scenes. Kind of weird. I, mean, I wouldn't just... want people filming me. Do... <laughs> I don't know how no. the best. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's like a thing that you wish upon your season. You're like, I can't wait to for them to show me soaping up. Um, Was that he's weird? A lot of them. The Bachelor. <laughs> I had two shower scenes. Um, you know, I I never claimed to be the the most in shape bachelor. I never claimed to be the bachelor that people wanted to see shower. I don't know if there's many bachelors that you really did want to see shower. Um, so I had two, uh, and it's weird when they do it. It's very weird. <laughs> I'm just like, I think Zach needs some space more than anything. <laughs> but clearly yeah. everyone's just with them all the time. Well, the, no, people are with you all the time when you're on the show. I mean, when you're the lead, at least during my time, I had somebody around me 24-7. They slept in the same room as I did. They really? followed me around. Yeah, they have a handler. Uh, and that's part of the reason you go crazy is because you've got no alone time. So, yes, you do go a little psycho. I had no idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't get a lot of privacy. You. What's that? I said, I thought it was just you. No, no. <laughs> you just go a little crazy. Then one more bachelor thought. So we mentioned Christina a couple of times. Yeah. What do you think of her as a person and that whole situation? Um, you know, I don't want, I would say I have learned over my years to be very hesitant, um, judging somebody based on the show. Now, again, I'm always a proponent that your edit most of the time, I haven't seen every season, I've been around for every season, most of the time is fairly accurate, depending on what happens. Uh, I'm not a fan of blaming the show for editing. I do think it happens. I do think there's people that probably can argue their cause. I don't blame the show for the editing of what, how somebody looks. So I don't think it looked great. But I, I think in real life, you know, I've been able to do a little like research. She's very public. Um, I think she probably just says what she feels. Uh, and I think sometimes that hurts people. I think sometimes it comes off really negative, mm -hmm. but she says how she feels. I also believe she's probably a really fun person to be around. She's very bubbly, but I do think she has the ability to hurt people because she is very, she just speaks very openly. I can't say it's honest because it's not always true, but it's just very open. And honest. I think that sometimes can hurt people. Yeah, no, I'm in the beginning too, as well. When I was looking at the girls, I was like, I want to like her. I'm sure she's a great person, but I don't know if she's the one for Zach. She seems like she's going to be a problem. Paradise will be good for her. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these girls, I have a feeling, will be heading to the beach this summer for sure. And then we could talk about them then. <laughs> yeah, I think that'll be good. I think I think a lot of them do fit that. And I think they'd enjoy Paradise maybe a little bit more than probably the, like, the, the big show. Because Paradise is a place that you can be a little more open and free and um, it's not so um, tight, you know, it's not so buttoned up. We'll see their true colors then over the yeah. summer. Well, any, any, anyone in particular that you think is heading down to the beach besides Christina? Bailey. I mean, I think Bailey was like, everybody's one of everybody's favorites at the beginning of the season. She's a friend of Jessica. So I'm biased, um, but okay. she's great. And so I think her time on the show is very short lived. Uh, I think on any other season, she might've been around a little longer, but um, I, I could see her in paradise. I think um, that would happen. I think Brianna will be there because she obviously was a fan favorite. Uh, Christina. And then between Brooklyn and Kat, um, one of those, I think one of them will end up with The Bachelor and the other one won't. And so one of them will be Interesting. there. Interesting. And then one more. Do you have yeah. any Bachelorette predictions? Right now, I don't. Uh, I mean, I would say Brooklyn or Kat again. So maybe one of them won't be in paradise. Um, you know, I, I do think, um, let me pull up that list again. Um, There's somebody else that stood out to me, uh, Ariel. Um, I think he really likes her. I think she's going to be around a while. So I, I could, yeah. yeah, I could see her um, making some noise towards the end. Uh, and then Charity. I mean, I think. I was going to add her too, even if you didn't. Yeah, Charity probably would be 
right there with Brooklyn or Cat on who could be the next Bachelorette, at least from what, what we know right now. Yeah, well, let's have a bet. I'll okay. I'll pick Charity for Bachelorette. Okay, then I'll pick Brooklyn or Cat. Do I get two and you get one? <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's do it. We just have to decide what we win. <laughs> um, five bucks. That's fair. All right, virtual handshake. Then there, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we'll do and then we'll talk next time and see if we're right well ben can't thank you enough for coming back on the channel and you're always welcome anytime you want you know that yeah well as soon as we start finding out who's going to be picked for next bring me back on let's talk about it let's settle our bet 